Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. After the federal occupation of Natchez in July 1863, Union soldiers occupied many of the city's great houses. The burn was home to the members of the Engineering Corps who constructed Fort McPherson. On January 23, 1864, Samuel Swain, Lieutenant Colonel in the 12th Wisconsin Volunteers, wrote the following to his sister. Our office is in what used to be the sitting room of John P. Walworth's elegant residence. It is adorned with fresco work and moldings, has a chandelier for burning gas, a coal grate, etc. Our bedroom is the back room in what used to be the dining room. We do not boast of much furniture, it only consisting of rough tables, trunks, stools, and such as our mechanics have made for us. Our bedding is government blanket. Off the gallery are the upper rooms of a brick building that stands on lower ground. Where is our dining room, a storeroom, and a kitchen, which is occupied by the Cook Marina? Swain notes that these photographs of the burn were taken by Ephraim Holland Newton, a Confederate surgeon who worked for Henry Gurney, the great Natchez Civil War area photographer. Union soldiers occupied the house until the end of the war. Hi, we're Glenn and Bridget Green, owners of The Burn, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.